Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. Animation tweaks, camera tweak, and down. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. Some nice variety. I know, like detail stuff first, but I like how on every step the foot is in a different direction. I like that little drop there. Nice. Yeah, that's all great. I think timing wise, it's definitely getting better. Watch out once you spline this, there's this right there. Just that pause. I know this is just stepped, but watch out. So if she swings forward like this, especially with such a big step, there's going to be a moment where this has to ease in. It's fairly heavy. And then this and this will then overlap a little bit. So you don't want this to boom, suddenly stop there. That's pretty cool. Once you spline this, I might potentially see something where the chest and the head are potentially a bit too together. I mean, there's a good drop in the forward rotation. So for her to keep that focus there, just watch out once you spline this. I think it should be okay. I'm slightly worried about just moments like these when it's just very straight. Like the rotation really doesn't change anymore. That's cool though on the drop of the root. Again, we'll see how we spline this because there's a little bit of a, it lands and then immediately shoots up here. There's going to be a bit of boom, compression through there. And I wonder if there's going to be even a little down on the head and then up, or at least a bigger drag uh, on the head when she goes up. So once you spline this, watch out. I'm slightly concerned about that moment hit and then how everything just goes up there. At least it will have animation here and she plops down, boom, the, the ponytail compresses down and then comes back up. And I wonder if you can see here. Again, once you spline this, you kind of fine tune this timing. There's a little bit of a wobble on our side to side head rotation right there. It's almost like we're starting a drag a bit too strongly. This was almost more like a deliberate, I'm gonna lean over to my right and then drop. And I wonder if this also can be held a bit longer. Watch out also in, in spline, it's gonna look weird how this goes forward and she stays fairly level besides the slight wire rotation there. But we shall see. I can imagine this having a little bit of a uh, uh, drops, kind of pushing that timing a bit more, maybe a, a longer hold up, pound and drop. You can see how she goes up, down, and then fairly even timing on that drop. But I would spline this to see where this goes. But it's already good with the life in here. It's definitely going to have, you know, compression in the forearm is going to change the wrist and the fingers. That's all pretty cool. I think the arm dangles are going to be a, need a bit some tweaking. It's quite a swing over there. And it goes from here. And then it kind of stays... At least it kind of continues, but then it gets kind of locked into the space. And then immediately goes to the right. I can see this slightly changing in spline mode there once you get in there to be a bit more here. It's a bit of a longer pendulum swing. Same thing here. That's a pretty big return this way. And then after this spacing, going from here to here. Let me go over here. It's like this. That, that. And then suddenly only here, pretty much same spot, right here, a bit more to the right, actually. Yeah, I can see that being a problem. So on that next frame, then it would have to be a bit more here. And then you can come back. So switch out for that. Once you spline this, this could be a bit tricky. Same thing with this, as your arm goes out to the right here, then immediately pops over there. Now I know it is stepped, but once you spline this, that can also potentially be tricky because you can go from here quickly for like a quick grab. But the thing is you're going from here to here, and then the next frame is in the same spot. Like it's not going really to the left lower down as much as from here to here. So watch out for that. But again, I wouldn't adjust this in stepped. Might as well go uh, go spline here. 
I'm still, uh, the main comment, which I've saved until the end, I'm still slightly concerned about the head. There's also something about that head staying like that for so long. And I know she's tired, but it's almost like you want... I mean, she does have, you know, it's, there's a good contrast from here to here. But it's, and I hate to make this big chain. I mean, at the end, it's all, it all works. I'm just concerned that she just stays in this. It's almost like a zombie walk versus if she was maybe more like this or even leaning forward and then like go to the left this is some variation that's my biggest concern here that this is just always in here for so long like it might have even a little bit of a roll forward so maybe here she is a bit more this way roll to the sides maybe head even lower and then uh, brings her head up just a thought we might as well try it out quickly if you want it could be the head like this and then she leans after a while oh, i do this and over, but then I can see this being maybe too much back and forth. Or you just have a little bit of a change of straight into this. But I can see this starting like that and then slowly rolling this way into that leaning forward. There's the thoughts, but I think that's that. I can tell if that chair goes down. It seems not. It'd be cool if you had controls on this for the chair to compress down. Because this is going this way, but then this feels like now it's going up. <laughs> Just watch out. I don't know if you have anything there in terms of controls. And that is that for me. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.